Looking around, I find it amazing that a kid from Jersey City could find himself here. And I thought I'd tell you about the little miracles that have led me to this moment. I had two smart and hardworking parents who gave me everything they could. After high school, I attempted college, but finances made it impossible. That was a hard time. I thought I had no future, and I would be stuck working construction for minimum wage forever. I applied to local colleges, but to no avail. I began to lose my way, and over and over again I was told I had failed, and I started to believe it. But I was given a second chance when I was accepted to St. Peter's University. I had a moment of clarity, and I knew what I had to do. I had to become something so many thought I would never be, successful. I was determined to be somebody, but I realized I didn't know how. Enter New Jersey Needs You. I was accepted, not knowing exactly what to expect. Turns out, I wasn't just accepted to a fellowship program, but to a family. I've been blessed with a wonderful mentor, Jess, who has become one of my most trusted sources of advice and assistance with anything I face. Jess has worked hard to help me achieve success, from late nights doing interview prep, identifying contacts in my field, and just making sure I'm doing well. NJMY has blessed me with wonderful experiences. I toured the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. I met one of my idols, Eli Manning. And I received financial support that has helped me excel in school and at work. NJNY prepared me for my first real interview, which landed me an internship at Lehman Holdings. Jess has helped me realize that I can be whoever and do whatever I want. And for me, that means I can pursue my dream to work in sports marketing. Thanks to Jess, I'm now working with the Super Bowl on their social media campaign. These are things I never would have known how to do without Jess and without NJNY, and things I never would have had the confidence to attempt. NJNY has changed me, and I will forever be indebted to the people who made it happen. I only hope that someday I'll be able to do the same for someone like me, who just needs a second chance. I often felt that I needed to prove everyone wrong, and that was my motivation. But NJNY has showed me that my real motivation shouldn't be to prove my critics were wrong, but to prove that my supporters were right. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how a kid from Jersey City finds himself here tonight. Thank you.